example of this. In this, I'm going to show you how to enable remote desktop on a server and how to enable multiple remote connection. So uh, the first step, then the second one, I'm going to enable multiple So I'll be using a virtual machine. So this is a virtual machine that I'll be using. Uh, let's assume this is a new server. So uh, first of all, uh, for now, we will not be able to remote. We can test that. OK. So let me try to remote this IP. We are not able to remote to the server. So, uh, for you to check uh, how to enable the remote desktop connection, you open the server manager. So, the server manager, on the start, the server manager. So, uh, then you click on local server. So you'll be able to see the remote desktop is disabled. So that's why you are not able to remote. So for you to enable it, you click on the remote desktop. Then you click allow, apply, then OK. So for now, we can try to remote. This is our IP. OK. So this shows that we are able to remote. Let's go on and log in. Okay. We are in. So uh, there's some sound which shows that some remote connection have been stopped. So when we check on our the, our first connection we're able to see we have been logged out because there's another remote connection so uh for you to enable multiple remote connection session at the same time uh, for that we have to we have to run the group policy G edit to MMSC okay uh, under computer configuration you expand the administrative template Windows component Then under remote desktop services, expand the remote desktop session first. Then click on connection. Okay. So let me expand this. So uh, you'll be able to see uh, there's a setting for allow, I mean, restrict remote desktop services users to single remote desktop service session so uh, for this is not configured so we have to configure it configure you double click then on this window uh, you will find it's not configured so here you are not going to disable this you don't want to restrict it so you click disable 
then click apply then click ok so that is disabled uh, then the second thing under the limit number of connection you have to configure double click on it so here you enable it then you put the uh, the maximum uh, number for connection so, okay Three, nine, nine, nine. okay then you click apply then okay okay now we are good now we can remote more than two people so let's try to remote the second session Let's put the password. Okay, now we are in the server. We have two sessions. Remote, uh, at remote uh, we are able to, remo to connect remotely at the same time. So we have this and this so uh okay so you don't want maybe you want more than two users to be able to remote more than two sessions to be able to remote uh, at the same time so for that okay let's try if we're able to remote more than two people Let's put the password. Okay. So uh, for here, we are able to see that uh, for another user, another person to be able to remote, uh, we cannot remote uh, more than two session at the same time so you have to you have to disconnect one user so uh for you to avoid this you have you have to so to fully to fully to fully enable multiple concurrent RDP session you need to install a, a remote desktop service session host role on your server so uh, so uh, the second the third step we're going to enable multiple concurrent concurrent RTP session so uh, for this you need to install to install the Remote install remote desktop Session host. So 
the transmission first. So we need to install this on the server. So for you to install, let's go to the server. Okay, we are here. So uh, on your server manager, you go to manage. Then add roles and features. Okay, for this go next. Then role base next. Then that one next. Then here you choose the remote desktop services. Next. 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 So uh, for this, the raw services, you choose the remote desktop connection broker, remote desktop gateway, okay, click add, then that one, remote desktop licensing, remote desktop session host, uh, yeah, that's map, choose those four, then you click next. So uh, here, when you have installed, so you click install, then the installation will start. So when you want to automatically restart when the installation has finished, you'll be able to check on this. So uh, be able to check on that. Yes, then install. So uh, I'm going to pause my video till the installation is finished. Now the server has been has been restarted, so now the installation is finished. So you can try to remote again. So, okay. Let's try to remove.
Okay, this is the second session. We are moving. So we are able to remote. So this is the second and this was the first one. Okay, let's remote the third one. We are also able to remote. The fourth one. Okay. So the fourth connection, so we are also able to remote. So we are able to remote, uh, we, are, we are able to have uh, three sessions at the same time, this one. So uh, that's how we fully enable. Though uh, this, uh, because it's unlicensed, it normally gives a great quantity. Thank you.